855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I. Every once in a while, we get a sliver of democracy. And today is one of those rare days where we're actually getting a sliver of what democracy might be like if we lived in a country that was truly democratic. And we see a hearing that's going nowhere, frankly. I'm not blaming Trey, Trey Gowdy. I'm not blaming some of these incredible Congress people on the committee. They're doing the best they can given the constraints. And given the fact that <clears throat> the way these hearings run is that Democrats and Republicans get equal time. And, of course, she has a protectors, the buffers on the other side. I think that we can make the best use of the remaining time of this show to play in, in and out of the hearings because they're going to be going on while we're on the air. I think they're still ongoing. But what was Sidney Blumenthal doing there? Who is he? Because this is going to come up again. And my guess is, I'm making a guess now, he is her greatest vulnerability right now. The whole world is now saying, who's Sidney Blumenthal? Why did his name come up? What was he doing uh, with Libya? Why was he advising Hillary Clinton? He could reach her with direct emails and no one else could. What, what was he doing? What did he have to do with the overthrow of Gaddafi, if anything? And I believe that he, she's going to throw him overboard in the very near future. It's not going to happen today. My guess is that there needs to be a head uh, on a platter. It's going to be Sidney Blumenthal's head. They're going to throw him overboard. He, they're going to cut him loose, and they're going to blame him for the whole fiasco. And then she'll walk away from it unscathed. It's just the way the political, uh, political game called blood sport works. Somebody's going to pay for this, for what she's going through, and it's going to be Sidney Blumenthal. Now, Breitbart, Patrick Howley say that new emails show that Hillary Clinton helped Blumenthal's business interests in Libya. Blumenthal has denied through his lawyer that he was on the payroll of the military consulting firm Osprey Global Solutions, which wanted to expand its business in Libya after Gaddafi was killed. And they say this. Blumenthal pushed on at least one occasion to get funding for the group's projects and promoted to Hillary Clinton, a Libyan government advisor, that Osprey was trying to win over for private dealings. The new emails reveal that Blumenthal and the other two sources feeding Clinton intelligence on Libya were all acting as, quote, honest brokers for Osprey Consulting to get a government contract in Libya, and Clinton was willing to help them out. Now, who is Osprey Consulting? Hmm. Well, it's a new one. Osprey is headed by former General David Grange, former head of Delta Force. Blumenthal wrote to Clinton, and he said, quote, Osprey will provide field medical help, military training, organized supplies and logistics to the TNC. This is a private contract. It does not involve NATO. The TNC wants to demonstrate that they are pro-U.S. They see this as a significant way to do that. They are enthusiastic about this arrangement. It went on and it said, Tyler, Cody, and I acted as honest brokers putting this arrangement together through a series of connections linking the Libyans to Osprey and keeping it moving. Blumenthal wrote, referring to former ACI agent Tyler Drumheller and Cody Shearer. Blumenthal's top two sources for the intelligence he sent to Hillary Clinton. Is this too obscure for most listeners? I hope it isn't. Always follow the money. Never, ever forget the primary rule of politics is about power, and power is always about money. That's all it is. If you study gangs, whether in America or elsewhere, you'll see that they're driven only by one element money and money translates power translates to money it's no different than the government power equals money it's that simple clinton forwarded the email to our state department a jacob sullivan instructing sullivan to read the email and discuss with me at hotel she replied to blumenthal assuring him that she would call him tomorrow for follow-up and she said just just met with tnc again that's the new government of libya i believe but sign no contracts thanks clinton wrote but Sidney the Snake Blumenthal kept sending Clinton briefings promoting Osprey Global Solutions, according to Gowdy. This is the subtext of the hearings today. Watch Sidney Blumenthal's star fall, is my guess. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. <laughs> And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk. 
Borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. I have said before, and I will repeat again, Sid Blumenthal was not my advisor, official or unofficial, about Libya. He was not involved in any of the meetings, conversations, uh, other efforts to obtain information in order to act on it. On occasion, I did forward right, we what got he the sent picture. me. We got the pictures. The godmother part one. She has plenty of buffers to back up her statements. The question to the American people is, is she winning or losing? It's clear she's winning. She's outplayed everyone. By having delayed this hearing until after becoming a candidate for president, Hillary has been able to convince the left-wing media and the majority of the left that this is a political attack. The average moron out there, meaning the general public, merely feeds off of the media. And they're already tired of hearing about emails. Even Bernie Sanders was told to use that as a laugh line. And they've tuned out. They don't really care about Benghazi, whether you know it or not. This is a big thing to the political world. It's not a big thing to the average person. And they're probably more interested in uh, a transgendered reality show than they are in Hillary Clinton's uh, attempts to explain away why she let the ambassador and others die. And I believe the people on the right, who probably had the best of intentions to begin with, have now had their teeth removed by arguably one of the most efficient political machines of all time in all human history. And I fear that Hillary Clinton has outplayed the right, the media, and sadly, the American people are the big losers. And I think she's coming off fairly well in this hearing. It shows on her face, except when some finally trap her, you see the cat that ate the cream expression leave. And, of course, the Democrats under that uh, creature from the uh, Congress there, Elijah Cummings, oh, the, uh, frightening, look desperate in an attempt to make this look like a witch hunt. Their statements, their questions are weak. Their defense of her is overt uh, and, and so clear. And Hillary's prepared for every question. The reality is she's not looking that bad. And the media is going to portray this as an attempt by white males to attack a poor, little, innocent woman. That's my opinion. If you care to comment, the phone number is 855-497-282. Please do not call the show if you haven't seen the hearings or heard them. We're asking for those of you who have watched them or are watching them, what your impressions are. Now, there's a shocking email that was released. You can find a link to it uh, at the top of the Drudge Report from, I think it's from the Daily Caller. Hillary told her daughter Chelsea that the terrorists, that terrorists were behind the Benghazi attack the night it happened. This is a shocker. So not only does she lie to the American people, but this poor, innocent, clean as the driven snow woman, Hillary Clinton, lied to her own daughter in an email dated September 11th, 2012. It was released today at the hearing to her own daughter. Hillary Clinton, the honest woman, asserted to her own daughter that an Al-Qaeda-like group was responsible for the terrorist attacks in Benghazi, revealed just today during the testimony to the House Select Committee on Benghazi. The email was revealed by Ohio Rep. Jim Jordan, and it shows that Clinton knew early on that the attacks, which left four Americans dead, was carried out by terrorists. But as Congressman Jordan pointed out, Clinton and others in the Obama administration had already begun crafting the story that the attack was spontaneous, the attackers were motivated by a YouTube video many Muslims found offensive. In the email released today, cited by Rep. Jordan, Clinton responded to her daughter Chelsea, who emailed under the pseudonym Diane Reynolds. You hear this? Her daughter had a pseudonym, Diane Reynolds. Quote, two of our officers were killed in Benghazi by an Al-Qaeda-like group, Hillary wrote. But shortly before the email, after it was revealed that Stevens had been murdered in the onslaught, Clinton implied that the YouTube video had served as a motive. Clinton said in a statement shortly after Ambassador Stevens' death, some have sought to justify this vicious behavior as a response to inflammatory material posted to the Internet. Well, you know the rest of the story. The Obama administration continued for days after the attack to lie and claim that the YouTube video entitled Innocence of Muslims had sparked protests which turned violent. Critics of the administration's handling of the response to the attack assert that the YouTube video was used as political cover to protect Obama ahead of the election. Congressman Jordan today compared Clinton's disparate positions, asserting that she knew the truth, but insisted on casting some blame on the video. Okay, you got the picture. Oh, she's lying. Lying. I'm shocked. 
Okay. Are you shocked that Hillary's lying? Are you kidding me? There's more you can read on your own if you want to link to the Daily Caller and Top of Drudge. The ins and outs of it. You know, it's all too political for the average person. The average person's getting a haircut, going bowling, sitting on a lawn chair. I don't know what people are doing in the country, but they don't care. This is political insider stuff. And the Democrats are going to say it's poor, innocent Hillary, the woman, being attacked by evil white males. And we spent too much money on it. Four million dollars to get to the bottom. is Why that money could have better been spent on transgendered surgery in California's prisons. Just think of the poor transgendered prisoners who are laying awake at night wishing they were women. That that money could have been used to uh, surgically turn them into women in our prisons. Just think of the waste of money. Well, you get the picture. There's no point in going into it in any greater detail. I think it's over. I think she comes out the winner. And I think the Republicans have egg all over their face. It's not that they're bad people. It's not that they're stupid. I didn't say any of that. Uh, the fact of the matter is, I don't even know why they went ahead with the hearings. If they really didn't have a smoking gun, and they weren't able to get any of the witnesses that I suggested be brought forward this afternoon, who were fired, General Carter Ham, Rear Admiral Charles Gouet, even Major uh, General Baker, who were, were all fired right after Benghazi, they know the truth. They know who told them not to, who told them to stand down. But apparently they, um, they're not going to be called, and if they didn't have them, they shouldn't have had these hearings. I have no idea why they went ahead with them. You know, there's an old rule. I mean, don't pick a fight unless you know you're going to win it. How, how did they expect to win this fight if they have no smoking gun? Can anyone explain to me why they went ahead with this hearing? Anybody. Does anyone think she's doing poorly? Mike on KSFO, you think Hillary's doing poorly? Why do you say that? Hi, Doctor. Uh, she is doing poorly, and it, it, it's expressed in her face, in her guarded uh, conversation. Uh, the, the story is that the left will say she hasn't got caught, and the right will say she's lying all the time. Now it's a matter of following up on all this stuff. And uh, but you see, Here's the thing, Mike. You and I both know how dangerous she is. What a what an overt monster she is. We know her history for eight years. She's not an unknown quantity. And we would expect to not like her. And then the Democrats would expect to continue to love her and worship her. But how is she playing with the average person out there is the question. Well, an adult would, I mean, you and I both have kids. An adult would know when a kid is lying. And that they're, you know, Republicans are adults. And, and Democrats, I don't know what Democrats are, but... Uh, all right, so but we, we know she's lying, but that's her stock and trade. What's new about that? They would say, so what's new about that? Republicans lie, too. Tell us about Bu The first thing you're going to say is Bush lied about weapons of mass destruction. You know that that's going to be the, lie, the, the answer, right? From the mainstream media. You well, know, no, from the average person out there. They're going to say, well, Bush lied, too. What's the difference? But she's more progressive. She's like us. She's for gay rights, pot rights, Muslim rights. You know, you get the picture. Oh, oh, sorry, global warming has to be in there. That That's important. Legalizing drugs, uh, criminalizing anyone who shows science, uh, scientific evidence that, you know, the whole picture. How do you feel about the Hillary play right now? Is the Hillary play working well for her? You think she's going to get away with it? Let's go to the big, big signal in Detroit, WJR Wayne. How do you feel she's faring? Um, I think she's doing actually pretty well to the average American. She has been cool, calm, and collect throughout all of the questions. Um, she was very well rehearsed for this. Um, she has danced and walked around each question. This has been a complete waste of time. This has been a uh, horse, a uh, dog and pony show for the American people and for the Republicans. Now, are you a Democrat or a Republican, Wayne? I am a Republican for the most part. But you feel, as I do, that this committee should have uh, not pursued these hearings? Not at all. This is a waste of time. They were hoping to call Hillary's bluff. Like you said, why show up to a fight you can't win? They were hoping for one lucky punch, and they failed miserably. Wow. Boy, Wayne, I'm sending you my book, Government Zero, because you know what you're talking about. I mean, it'd be easy for me to get up here and say she's terrible, she looks awful, she's losing, she's not going to win. That would be That would be stupid. One thing you can get out of me is the, uh, at least my, my real opinion. Whether you agree with it or not, I'm going to give you the honest opinion. Here I am saying she's winning. How do you like that? Would you have expected me to say that today? I mean, I started out sarcastically, which is somewhat my stock and trade. 
I put it on my Facebook and around 10,000 people